All right, guys, welcome back. This is Grassroots Season 2, Episode 15. And this episode upcoming is Forest Green's going to be the first match in the Leasing.com area final, followed by Rochdale, followed by, I believe it was Shrewsbury. Um, not too much excitement coming up here on out this season, being knocked out of the uh, the League Cup. At least we've got... Have we still got the FA Cup? I don't remember if I've been knocked out of that already. Um, I'll have a check. Let's have a quick check. But yeah, it seems to be now that the season is just going to be focusing on mostly on the league games. Um, I don't see any FA Cup matches coming up, so I think it's just the league we have to go for now. So I really want to concentrate massively on that, get as many points as we can. But first of all, Leasing.com Trophy Area Final. Let's see if we can get this one won. Perfect pitch on a perfect day in this stadium. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith alongside me up on the gantry. Our cup football is bound to be dramatic in this particular context. Really looking forward to what's going to unfold here, Alan. Yeah, some teams are suited to knockout football, others aren't. But we've got a couple of sides here, I think, that will be uh, harbouring ambitions of going all the way in this competition. Absolutely. Well, there are I think... players here <clears throat> who stand out a bit. These I think our club is definitely today, well, these two more suited to knockout football. We did really well them. in they the League Cup this season and last had season. Great service lately. Still hurts that I didn't get past Liverpool into the final, but Untidy work. fingers crossed. This oh, that was, a, Green that was a foul, today. surely. Well, we put it up as a fingers five, crossed two, we can three. get a win here today. 3-4-3, three, three, couldn't it? Here's Pedda. Dawson. That's a good idea with the pass. Oh, he's onside. Good save. Go, Go on, Gomez, lad. Really in the clear now. In on goal. Can he do it? Oh! The post. Well, they managed to get out of harm's way then because it looked as though there was going to be some real damage done to them. Fine margins down there. Woodwork playing its part. But if they keep on playing like this, I think the goal will soon come. Now Rooney. Going forward well. Brilliant technique in the tackle. And it's Williams getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Frustrating for them, really. That was the opportunity to play on the break, but it's broken down. Able to make the interception. Surely. Oh, deflected off Rooney's head. Whitehead. Gomez. Beautiful work on the ball. Rooney. Patient play as they try to get the goal. Rooney, 1 0. Great is, goal. Well, he swung his foot at it. Played a good bit of passing play between him and Gomez. Was as sweet as a nut. Great yeah, finish. Kept his eye on the ball, kept his head over it, and a lovely connection. So the first goal, it's 1 0. To read the intention of the pass. Go on, Rooney, lad. Finish it. Get in. Great goal. Good interception. Yeah, as you can see, the visitors trailing in the possession stakes, but they have played some slick, really beautiful football out there. 
the way that they broke out from defense it's just been the pace of the play and the way that they've chosen the passes it's been so clinical Barlow Gomez taking on the opposition and the responsibility oh. as well praise for trying the shot Alan well his teammates aren't too happy well it's great if it hits the back of the net and you're wheeling around in celebration but now he's just looking at a goal kick well I don't know why he's shooting from there he's miles out and missed it by some distance well, it's safe to play it back to the goalkeeper he's good with his feet we're down now to the last six minutes Barlow Gomez and a crack saved well by the goalkeeper well that's gone behind it'll be a corner and in it goes it's broken down and they'll have to try again chance to get the ball in the box well, he's given the ball away here unnecessarily The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of three minutes of added time. Here's Mills. And the defender has blocked the cross, and he's done it well. Careless there. And the referee has blown his whistle. Decent win there in the area final. Still doesn't mean a trophy for us, so we'll have to see what happens now. I'm not too familiar with the uh, leasing.com trophy, as I've mentioned before, so we will have a look. Not the right opponent for you there, pal. There you go. Da, da. Influential performance. Thanks for giving me a bar. Yep, proud of you. Let's have a look what's next then in the leasing.com trophy. There. That's the final. So that's at Wembley then, I'm assuming. And that's going to be against Gillingham. That's coming up in about two months' time. So we're in the final. So that's good. Now we need to concentrate on getting right up there in this league. We're three points off third place. Eight points off the top of the league. So we carry on. Next up, Rochdale. Perfect pitch on a perfect day in this stadium. Alan Smith is alongside me, Martin Tyler. The football today comes from the EFL League One. Absolutely looking forward to this one. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Looking forward to this. I'm hoping for a nice, quick start. It will set the standard here between two good teams. Be left isolated. Otherwise, this formation will not work. Imperative at this point that we've got three points in these league matches. Looking for a through ball. Get him. Well, they've gone for it right from the off, and they've got their reward with an early opening goal here. I think the goalkeeper maybe just lost his bearings, didn't quite know where his posts were. And that's what's done for him here. And that has opened the scoring 1 0 here. Just not able to find a way through that defence and make the keeper work. Let's pop over to Alan McAnally, who's watching the Millwall game. And I believe, Alan... Oh, chance! Good goal, Quintana. Two nil up. He's fast, this kid, and to think I got him for free. It's a good bit of business. Into his report, want to confirm that it was a Millwall goal in that game, and the score is one nil. McLaughlin, and they're looking good when they get the ball out wide, as they've done here. In comes the challenge. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. He might have put his teammate in here. Well, oh, they've got one back. The tail here. They've cut the deficit in half. They're only one behind now. There's still plenty of time to try and find this equaliser. Well, they really needed this, Alan, didn't they? Because now they've still got a chance. Well, they have. It was a sloppy one to concede from the opposition's point of view. And they've given the other team now a real chance. 
Well, he was the red card waiting to happen. You can see why the manager has brought him off after that yellow. Off we go again, 2-1. Real opening now. Oh, ref. Number 40, Ian Henderson. To be replaced by. The defenders managed to get in the way there. Ooh. The clock is against them. The opposition is doing well against them as well. Good clearance. Just keep the ball the now. Yes. Yes, That's lads. It. Final whistle. 2 1 win. It was really close right up to the final whistle. But they've got across the It's a big line. three points. By far the better team. Look at that. 11 shots, 6 on target. Compared to Rochdale's 2 shots and 1 on target. 1 on target they scored. Let's have a look now. Ipswich 1 2 1. So that means we're still fourth. Barnsley slipped up though, so we're now only five points behind second place. That's not bad. On to the third and final game in this episode. Finland have offered me the national team job. No thank you. No international management. I may consider it if it's the England job, but aside from that, not a chance. Right then, last match of this episode against Shrewsbury Town. If we can win and Ipswich lose, we'll be third at the close of this episode. Cross your fingers and toes. Let's have it. Well, this is the setting for our featured match today. Welcome to you. Martin Tyler here for you, along with Alan Smith. The football today comes from the EFL League One. Absolutely looking forward to this one. Yeah, a real buzz around this ground. Full house. A lot of interest in it. Hope it doesn't disappoint. Let's have a look here. Millwall is still 1-1. Uh, what else? Ipswich are winning 2-0. Mansfield are winning. Barnsley are losing so we've got a chance to catch up some ground on the teams above us here we really need to get it done though uh, you know what I'm going to leave Gomez on for a bit but I'm going to take Rooney off and I'm going to put Deza Uwe on and I'm going to switch Barlow and Quintana and I'm going to put Quintana in front of Gomez only because of the speed Quintana's got some good some good acceleration the start now of the second period oh he's let him right through great goal that That's a defender goal. backed off at the wrong well, moment. One or two minutes, I'm not sure, but he's marked his appearance here with a wonderful goal. Substitutes have paid off again. And that has just laid Watch him back off. Look, look. Unstoppable. He just let a gap right through. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't Super. It? That's what we needed. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Now let's try and get another one quickly. Alan now, who's at the Millwall match, and I believe Alan, there's been a goal that you can tell us about. It's a second goal for Millwall. Forty-nine. Oh, Millwall are winning again now. He's one -on -one oh no! It must be. They really had a go in the quest for this equaliser, Alan. Yeah, it was a half decent chance. Maybe snatched at it a touch. My apologies. He just didn't seem to get his balance right there. It was a clumsy challenge. He's keeping us guessing here, not quite sure. Saved by the goalkeeper, that free kick. Goal news from Coventry. It's a third goal for go on. Ipswich Town. 68 minutes. Uh, one. Go on, use your speed, lad. Go on. Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. And he sent himself oh, what a goal. Well 
platform for victory. Well, it was a decent move and to get some space in a crowded penalty area. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? Made the interception, made it look easy, actually. Good block. And that's all she wrote. And there it is, it is over. Great win, another big three points. It was a fine performance. They worked really well when they had the ball, which wasn't that often. But also, they were very good when the opposition had the ball. Yeah, it just goes to show those possession stats can't be deceiving. That's what you do with the ball, and they used it really well. Ipswich won, Millwall won, Barnsley lost, which is a good point. But in terms of league, not bad, not bad. We're still... Th Look at this now. With the results that happened, we're now only three points of second place. So that's fantastic. 73 points. So we're three points off second. Six points off top. I think we've really got a shout. If we can carry on performing well and getting wins, we've got a really good chance of, of breaking into that top two and getting automatic promotion for a second season running. So, uh, yeah, let's carry on. That's going to do it for this episode, but coming up in episode 16 will be Rotherham United, followed by Gillingham and Fleetwood Town. Another three big games. Um, nobody above us yet that we're, that we're coming up to face, but hopefully before the end of the season, we'll still have to play them. Yeah, we've got Ipswich right there. April 24th. We play Ipswich, so that could be a crucial, crucial game by the time we get there. And Millwall as well in the final couple of weekends of the season. So back-to-back, -back, Ipswich and Millwall, two massive games there toward the end of the season. But as for now, that's the end of this one. Hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Hope you all have a great weekend. If any of you out there are isolating, good luck. Hopefully everything passes by without too many people suffering. But thanks for watching this one, and I'll catch you soon.